this video is to encourage any and everybody that's struggling right now with difficulties, uh, physical difficulties. I know where everybody's um, representing for those who, who are dealing with cancer, cancerous cells. Um, and like I said, we have a lot of mountains that we have in our lives that we go through. Um, this is for y'all. Listen, by faith, having faith, you, you can overcome. And I say by faith, what I mean is believing the outcome to be different than what your circumstances are. So for those battling with sicknesses and illnesses, Go, go into your mind and imagine, I know you're going through a lot of pain, imagine how you want to see yourself. Imagine seeing yourself holding your, your, your child or hugging a loved one and being vibrant and lively. Imagine that. Just continue to imagine that. Even though you're going through the pain, imagine that in your mind. Um, Keep that in the forefront of your, your thoughts is, is imagining that. Circumstances are telling you, we got to remove this, we need to remove that, we need to repair this, we need to give you this drug. Put it in your mind, imagining exactly how you want, how you see yourself. Exactly how you see yourself. Not, not the condition that you're in, but how you see yourself um, in, in reality of how you want to be. Not necessarily... Um, how how you are looking at the moment. You may be bedridden, but if you see yourself standing up and moving around, uh, loved ones around you, and, and you're enjoying yourself and you're at peace, um, imagine that. Um, focus on things that are going to generate peace in your life. Focus on things that are going to generate that peace. Anything that's going to lead you towards peace and love, focus towards those things. Um, I know Jesus... Um, went around and healed people well let me say this he went around the town to talk to people who were who needed a healing he went up to them he may have laid hands on them he may have said a word but he never ever once took credit for any of that he never wants to credit for healing anybody and of course, you know, in the Bible and the way things are worded, it says that, you know, and he healed this person, he healed that person. No, he never took credit for any of that. What he always said to people after he healed them most of the time is, your faith has made you whole. Not anything on my part. Your faith has made you whole. Your faith activated the healing. So I say for everybody, I know you're going through chemo, you're going through all these different things. Your faith faith is what's going to make you whole um, and I, I'll just give this testimony I gave it to uh, this testimony before in one of my video, videos my grandma heart diagnosed six months to live by one doctor got a second opinion second opinion said um, as long as you believe and you keep yourself in good spirits try out all the different medicines you can try out to experiment with um, you're going to be all right you're gonna be okay. You'll live longer than six months. Don't accept that. Don't believe that. Accept, accept life. Don't accept death. And so my grandmother took that word of advice. And what she, what did she do? She continued to live her life, enjoy it. She went through her chemo. She went through all the different things she had to go through. Um, but one of the things that she maintained doing, she always did. She always did her devotions every night um, by listening to a little bit of music, reading her scriptures. And um, she maintained doing that. She maintained keeping positive energy around her, not any negative energy. She kept positive energy around her. Um, any situations that other people were going through, um, she she really did not try to bear anybody else's burdens because she wanted to keep positive energy. And, and that, that caused her, as, as the cancer progressed over the years, that caused her to live seven years as opposed to six months. Now, I'm not saying that that's going to be the case for everybody, but what I'm saying is renewing your mind. Focus on peace. Focus on the things that are going to bring life. 
and I say that for people who are sick and people who aren't uh, necessarily physically sick but going through emotional uh, things um, focus on things that are going to bring about peace in your life and um, I love the scripture that says let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus Jesus, the only thing that Jesus thought about was, was the redemption of, of all of us, the healing and the, the, the salvation of all of us and the redemption of all of us, of all of us. And that's, that was God's heart, was that we would love one another as he loved us. And love births a lot of different things. Love bears fruit. The, the fruits of love are love, peace, kindness, temperance, long-suffering, all these different things are birthed out of love. So what I say is focus on love, focus on peace, focus on things that are going to bring joy and not focus on things that are, um, that are going to bring about death. Now, you may hear from a doctor, yeah, um, well, you only have six months to live and uh, we, 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 we can do it all. We're only going to do what we can do and, and um, we're going to try. We tried everything we could and there's nothing else we could do. Um, don't accept that as don't accept that as a death sentence accept that as okay these are the circumstances today but I believe that no matter what I'm going to maintain my peace I'm going to maintain being in a state of love and peace I know I'm having these pains and I'm going through all this hurt right now but I'm going to maintain my peace I'm going to keep my peace um, and I'm going to focus on things that are, that are going to bring about peace. So let me look at this painting or let me listen to this music or let me read these words of inspiration to keep me going. Um, just find anything that's going to put you in a mind of peace because wherever your mind is, everything else is going to have to follow it. Um, wherever your mind is, your body is going to eventually have to uh, follow it. And then if your if your body can't catch up with where your mind is, just let your mind be continue continue to be where it's at. Don't allow circumstances, situations, or people or anything sway you from the peace. Keep the peace. Maintain peace. Find peace. That's the biggest thing. Is finding peace. I rather be bedridden and be in a peaceful mind state than be bedridden and be suffering from torment internally emo uh, 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 mentally and spiritually um, and and what I say is uh, find peace maintain that peace and remember remember last thing remember we are all made in the image of God I've been, I've been preaching this to people, talking to people. We're all made in the image of God. And what is God? Who is God? God is a spirit. God is the spirit that causes all things to come into existence. All things to, to, to bring life. And so I say, as you're praying, as you're going through the things you're going through, go to God. Say, I am created all of this I am you created all of this and if you created all this I am you can you can mend it you can fix it you can you can uh, you can restore it you created all this not this physical body this physical body didn't create anything you created all of this and so if that's the truth and that's the case and if nothing about you is true except for life Please give me life. Give me peace. Let your spirit dwell within me. Let the spirit of life dwell within me. Remember this. You are a son of God. You are a daughter of God. And as a son or a daughter of God, you have the DNA of God. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Let there be. He spoke. God spoke things into existence. He spoke them, and then things had to follow suit. So start speaking into your spirit. Start speaking into your mind. Start speaking it out loud just to convince yourself. You might have to lie to yourself for right now until you start believing it. But start believing. I am healed. I am healing.
I am healing for other people. And that's one way you can get get over these things um, and, and fight through it is, is, is start focusing on, on other people, loving other people. Um, getting your mind off of, of your suffering and start focusing on, on the, the, the healing of other people. And in the midst of that, you'll find your healing um, while you're in the process of healing, helping other people heal. Start becoming an inspiration to other people. Start becoming healing to other people. If you want to be healed, start becoming that. Be, say, I am healing. Start becoming healing. Um, just start. Just put your put yourself in a state of mind where you see yourself healed and, and goodness. Um, I know this is a lot. A lot I said, but uh, hope hopefully this touches somebody's heart. And uh, peace and love. Amen.